So, we have the free street and the race, 6'8". And there is a very difference in, uh, in weight, so this is very much lighter. And I'll start with this. We're at Surf Motion at Soma Bay and there's a lot of sand of course and uh, we're happy because the material it's so robust it doesn't really matter the material can have it and the sun of course another great advantage of the sail is its weight because it's really really light um, so we could take another sail into the plane which is great fun So that was an easy job. I think rigging is really easy, no gamers, the mess went in uh, very easily. Uh, it's, it's really plug and play. I like this. Uh, this works quite nice. Yeah, nothing to tell. It's, it's really uh, plug and play. Let's go on the water.
surf motion. The material is light and very compact so after having all these sessions in, in lots of sand and wind and a lot of sun um, there wasn't one moment that I was worried about the material. It is strong, it is safe and uh, it makes a very nice impression. And when it comes to rigging the free speed is so easy to trim it's plug and play I don't know I, I think I don't even need uh, three minutes to trim uh, the sails going to the water with the gear it's very light so you really feel the difference if you have a race sail with cambers or this uh, free speed uh, in handling um, it's easy to lift and it's easy to carry what else can I say so once on the water of course you try to beach start and to water start uh, because the material is so light and the sail is so light, I haven't had a, a sail which is so easy to water start with or to beach start with. The handling is, is just perfectly light. What I discovered is that you easily plan with the sails and that might be the, the pressure that's in the sail. You, you feel it right away and the sail wants to plan. I've been thinking why it's easier to plan with the sails. Um, What's obvious is that even though it's a free speed sail without cambers, the stability is great. The stability and robustness of the sail, uh, they are good, so they give power and they transform the wind into power. So planning is a lot of fun and then it comes to jiving. Because the material is so light, also jiving is easier. Because you can turn it and uh, you feel the power again in the sail. Of course, it's not a camber sail, so you, you feel the pressure building up in your sail after the jive. But uh, really, in the end, it's fantastic with jiving. So with any sail, it's a, it's a matter of personal sweet spot. Uh, you have the sail, you have the wind conditions, you have the conditions on the water, it's quite flat here. Um, you have to have the right fin, the right board, the width of the board. So all works together to find your personal uh, sweet spot. And in the beginning that was uh, figuring out what it is. But after some runs um, 
adjusting harness lines and everything. Uh, I had great fun because the sail has a lot of power uh, and I love to compare it with uh, the sails I used, for example with the race uh, sail of North. But still then, this free speed is quite fast, maybe two, three, four kilometers slower than the race sail, but once the power is in the sail, it really wants to go. So, free speed, race sail, which one to choose? I think it's really depending on where you're coming from. Are you coming from no camers or are you coming from camers? And personally, it's, it's your own choice. Me personally, I love race sails and I love sails with camers. So uh, even though I enjoyed surfing with the free speed very, very, very much, uh, but I like to go a little bit quicker and get the stability from the race and from the camera sense.